In this video, I'll show a demo of using the Model Context Protocol, or MCP, to enable an LLM model to interact with the command line on a Fedora Linux system. Everything in this environment is running locally, and I'm using a combination of open source software and the open source Quinn 2.5 coder LLM model. I'll show the demo, and then I'll walk through the various components and how they were configured. Please note that I'm just experimenting with this technology at this point, and you need to be very careful when providing an LLM the ability to run commands in your environment because things can go wrong. I'm using the open source Fluho chat interface running locally for this demo. I'll start by entering a query asking if there are any file systems that are almost full. Fluho will connect to my Olama server hosting the Quinn 2.5 coder LLM model and then use an MCP server that enables the LLM to run commands directly to interact with my system. Once this returns a result, I'll scroll up and we can take a look at the MCP tool calls. You can see that it ran the DF command to check the status of the file systems, and you can also see the output that was gathered from that command. Based on the MCP tool call, the LLM correctly reports that the file system mounted on the app LV is at 100% utilization. Over in the terminal, I'll run the DF and LVS commands to show that this file system and, and logical volume are indeed maxed out. Next, I'll ask the LLM to expand the app LV and file system by two gigabytes. Over in the terminal, I'll use the watch command to have it run the DF command every second. If you look closely, hopefully here in a few moments, you'll see that the size increases to four gigabytes and the utilization drops to around 50%. And there it is. You can see the size is now four gigabytes and the utilization is now 51%. Let's scroll up and take a look at the MCP tool calls that were made. You can see that the LLM had to make a number of MCP tool calls to complete this process of expanding the file system and logical volume. Down at the bottom, the LLM provided a summary of the steps it completed. It provides an overview that the application VG size was about 20 gigabytes. It notes that the app LV was originally two gigabytes and was resized to four gigabytes. It's interesting to note that it reports that it attempted to use resize 2FS to resize the file system. However, this is an XFS file system and resize 2FS is only for EXT type file systems. But what is really cool is that the LLM recognized this problem and then used the correct command XFS growFS to resize the XFS file system. This highlights the ability for the LLM to autonomously adapt as it works through problems. Okay, let's try one other query. I'll ask the LLM to help me figure out how much free memory this system has. Once that completes, let's take a look at the MCP tool call. And you can see that the free command was run, and you can also see the output of that command. Based on this, the LLM provides an overview of the available memory on the system. Next, I'll provide some more details on how this was set up. As I mentioned, I'm using the open source Fluho chat interface running locally on this system. I'll go over to the Models tab and show the configuration for the model I'm using. I'm using the open source Quinn 2.5 coder 32 billion parameter model served by Olama locally here in my environment. I have the temperature for this model set at 0.2. Next, I'll go over to the MCP tab and show you the configuration for the CLI MCP server. One nice feature is that you can specify the base directory for command execution, and you can specify a list of allowed commands and allowed command flags that enable you to restrict what the MCP tool can do. I'm in a test environment here, so I have these set to allow any command to be run, but I would definitely not recommend this. You can also specify the max command length and the command timeout. I found that I also needed to define the path variable for the MCP to work properly. Note that I ran into some problems with this MCP server when I tried to run commands such as sed, so I did make a small change to the code for this MCP server to work around this problem. You can learn more about the CLI MCP server over on GitHub where the readme file covers all the details on how to use this MCP server. Let's go over to the flows tab and I'll show the Quinn 2.5 flow that I'm using. These flows are very easy to create. You just drag out the nodes and do some basic config and then connect them. I have a start node connected to the Olama Quinn 2.5 node connected to the CLI MCP server node. And then over on the chat tab, you select the Quinn 2.5 flow and type in a query. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great rest of your day.